Well, we're here on the ground at G2E Asia in Macau. We're joined by Ken Jolly, Vice President and Managing Director at Asia for Light and Wonder. Uh, thanks for being with us here. Yeah, Kelsey, great to be, great that you're here and nice to talk to you. Well, you guys have a beautiful and very engaging booth here. Uh, can you tell us what are some of the new highlights that you're featuring this year? Yeah, so we've got a whole range of uh, new games uh, that we're showing here. Some not quite approved yet, some pretty approved soon. Um, we've just, in front of, in the behind us here, we have a thing called um, the Duel of the Dragon. That's in our, what we call our dual screen um, cabinet. So we have two cabinets on show at the show, the dual screen cabinet and our upright 43 cabinet. Okay. Um, yeah, but Duel of the Dragon is going to be a new game, hitting the market very soon. Very much about jackpots and um, it's got some great features in there. Uh, we usually deploy in the Philippines first because we have a, so in, in Asia, a lot of people don't understand. They think, oh, it's one piece of software right across the country. They're like, it's not. You know, Korea has software. Um, it's different because of the zeros in the one. Um, Singapore has some um, um, remote gaming, not remote gaming, sorry, um, some harm minimization in the software that you have to put in. Uh, and Macau has some different beta requirements for the DSOJ. So the, the more common software is what we call Philippines unregulated, which goes to like Cambodia, Vietnam, Malaysia, a lot of countries. And uh, we typically launch there first because it's easy to get to market. And then we sort of work on the other markets thereafter. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, the booth is absolutely packed. I'm sure you've seen a lot of footfall. This is only day two of G2E. How has been the, the response so far? Yeah, look, the, the overall show footprint is smaller, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, certainly in the mornings, both yesterday and today, and now in the afternoons it picks up again. Seems like everybody wants to, everybody wants to go outside for lunch because they all, <laughs> the hall gets abandoned. <laughs> true, true, but it seems to be staying packed. Um, maybe could we go and take a look at one of your other products yeah. which you're highlighting? Yeah, we have another new product just to my right over here yeah. called um, Flamey Big Hot Pots. So what, what is special about this new game in particular? Uh, I guess, uh, you yeah, know, it's called um, Big Flaming Pots. Um, it's obviously themed around food. You know, you've got a lot of sushi and things on the, on the screen. Um, it's got some extra features there, the yummy and the upsize and the spicy pot. And it should be a lot of fun for players to play. It's got a lot of features built into those uh, free pots. Mm -hmm. And they're all sort of different features. But yeah, no, it's, and it's, this is the uh, upright 43 cabinet as well. I guess people enjoy food and they enjoy the game. So let's see how it goes. But, we have got this out in another market in the world, outside of Asia, and it's doing very well. So we're pretty, we're looking forward to its response here. All right, glad to hear. Now, I mean, while we're here, what are some of the other products that you're, you're debuting? I know that there's also something in, in regards to cards. Games here, but we have a new um, product in our utility um, group, mm -hmm. and that's called the Card Recycler. So as you know, in, in um, these markets in Asia, when the players touch a card, they usually, it's used once and then it's destroyed. Mm -hmm. So we have a machine over here, it's only new, and we just trialed it in a couple of venues and it's with success. And basically you put all your used decks into one end or you put eight decks at a time, and it sorts through, scans the card, checks it for bends, anything. If it's got a bend or a mark on it, it will reject it. But at the other end of the machine, it puts them into batches and full decks. Hey, pretty cool. That's great. Yeah, well, saving the environment and being more efficient at the yeah. same time. Yeah, saving the environment. Uh, they don't have to go and destroy that many. And it'll make up so many decks out of so many other decks. Um, and again, it's a money saver because yeah, cards are expensive. Mm -hmm. And they go for a lot of cards, particularly in Macau. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm excited to see all these new products. I'm sure that all the other people who are attending are as well. We wish you the best of luck and congratulations. And thank you for your time.